PWTV episode one. So I figure it's a good idea to start this series off by going over what all our pocket wizard radios do and why you would want a plus two over a Multimax or a Flex TT5 or a Mini TT1. Not everybody knows the differences between those. So I'm gonna explain that in this video and I think that'll give all of you a good base of knowledge uh, for the future PWTV episodes. So to sort of kick it off, I'm going to start by talking about our plus two radios. I have one over here actually. So plus twos are a simple triggering system. They have four channels, they work with all our other pocket wizards, but they're for firing manual flashes only. They don't do any kind of TTL or send big packets of data back and forth like our new radios do. Plus twos are also really great if you have a remote camera set up and you're not even using flash at all. You just get a pair of plus twos, a remote camera cable, and you're good to go. I'm not even gonna talk about manual flash triggering without mentioning the Multimax. The Multimax can do just about anything with the exception of TTL flash. It's got features like intervalometer for time-lapse images, speed cycler if you wanna alternate between different banks of flashes each shot, rear curtain sync, uh, camera equalization, so if you wanna synchronize multiple cameras to one set of flashes, you can do it with a set of Multimaxes. Uh, I use the Multimax to control the timing of an electronic shutter for one of my view cameras. It's definitely my favorite radio. Some flashes have pocket wizards built right into the flash itself, so you don't need to use a separate external receiving pocket wizard. Uh, the Bowen's Gemini 500R is a good example of that. You can see on this flash that it has a little external antenna right here. Uh, in the back is a slot for dropping in a pocket wizard trigger card. So you just drop a card in there and then you can trigger it from any transmitting pocket wizard. Flashes aren't the only thing that you'll find pocket wizards built into. They also come in some Sekonic meters. Here I have a L758DR. This is a nice meter with incident and spot modes, but if you pop the back cover off, you'll see right next to the battery is a little pocket wizard module. So if you've got one of these installed in your meter, you don't need a separate transmitting pocket wizard to trigger your remote flashes. You can just use your meter and hit the button on that, meter with that, and then take your shot. We talked about plus twos, but obviously that two had to come from somewhere, so what about pluses? Well, we don't make pluses anymore, but I can still talk to you about them today. Let me grab mine. <sighs> Functionally, pluses are pretty much identical to plus twos, with one major exception. Pluses are not transceivers, so with plus twos, you can deploy them as a transmitter or the receiver, doesn't matter. But with pluses, you have to deploy separate transmitter and receiver hardware. So this in my hand right now is a plus transmitter. It has big transmitter on the side. So just something important to keep in mind if you ever run across any old pluses. Now let's talk about our newest radios, the Mini TT1 and the Flex TT5. As you can see, they've got both a top and bottom shoe. The top shoe is for connecting a flash and the bottom shoe is for connecting to your camera or if you've got a hot shoe mount on your light stand. Uh, the big deal with these radios is that they'll let you use TTL flash with a compatible Canon DSLR and speed light. They'll also work to trigger any other receiving pocket wizard in manual mode. To wrap things up, I'd like to talk about some of our old stuff, like the pocket wizard. You can see here, this is a, a receiver, and the pocket wizards came in separate transmitter and receiver hardware. They have a little dial on the front with 16 channels, and you can use them with any current pocket wizard as well. Uh, you usually can't find these anymore, and you can't buy them because we don't make them anymore, uh, and we usually can't repair them, but uh, if you find one, you can still use it. Here is a time machine. Time machines aren't radios in themselves, and actually all the features on a time machine have been incorporated into the Multimax. Time machine is really just a delay and intervalometer controller for flashes or remote cameras. Anyway, thank you for watching today, and if you have any comments, questions, suggestions for future PWTV episodes, please just leave them right on this YouTube page.